Hello, my name is Dean Bubbly from Disruptive Analysis and I've just moderated the panel on telcos and OTTs at ITU World Telecom 2013 in Bangkok. The session was a very lively debate with representatives from Telefonica, Microsoft, Communicano and Alcatel Lucent. Real mix of people with a policy background, a product background, exploring the disputes and potential areas for collaboration between telecoms companies and internet companies, the so-called OTTs. <clears throat> Particularly we've been looking at the future of uh, voice services, voice over IP, messaging and also up to a point content and video as well. The discussion covered a wide range of points around the business models for telecoms operators um, and how they may interact with the internet companies. We were looking at whether or not the current approach of charging for phone calls and SMSs is sustainable in the face of competition with varying levels of function, price and quality, quite a lot of it for free. Uh, and what that means in terms of telecom operators' um, uh, realistic, survivable prospects in offering services as well as at network access. One of the conclusions was that network access uh, prices probably need to reflect um, a greater deal of their inherent costs rather than relying on cross-subsidy from uh, application layer services which may well decrease over time. There was quite a lot of debate about whether service providers can offer uh, internet players uh, any added value services and how they might contribute to costs. Um, one of the things that was suggested was around uh, billing and payments, for example, for mobile app stores. Uh, other things that came out quite strongly were around the role of operators as providing a channel to market um, for various uh, internet players or app players, uh, perhaps with revenue share agreements. As we already see, for example, with a number of operators bundling in things like Evernote or Spotify. Um, it gets more complicated around voice over IP. Um, but it was interesting that a number of service providers have their own internet OTT applications. Um, for example, in Switzerland, um, with one which is uh, majoring on privacy of Swiss networks um, rather than allowing data to be taken overseas. Overall, I don't think you can necessarily say we came to firm conclusions because it is such a contentious issue. Um, but it certainly uh, set the debate and covered a large amount of ground in terms of both the policy making issues and the realities of what it means to be a software startup as well. Thank you.